my sleep schedule is garbage. It's so bad. And by that, I mean, on average, 12 30 in the morning to 2 in the morning it's a massive problem and in today's video i'm going to fix that i can't say once and for all but at least for a short period of time this week i'm going to bed at 9 p.m aka within the nine o'clock hour so from 9 to 10 p.m is my window of sleep and i would love to do this more drastically like going to bed at 8 p.m every night for a week or actually 9 p.m on the dot but it's just not practical for my life for example i'm obviously in my cheer uniform i got back from a game like 15 20 minutes ago and it's 9 37 right now which means i need to be in bed within the next 15 minutes a few things i did to set myself up for success here before i left set out my pajamas cleaned most of my room i just have to hang this up on hangers and put it in my closet and these belong up here and i also set out my clothes for tomorrow morning so that's all ready to go for me in the morning my devices are charging everything is just ready to go and i got all my work done for the day and then i just cut myself off completely after all the things i had to do that's usually the main reason I'm in bed so late is because I am trying to do more work or catch up on things get ahead on things for the next day I can't get these to sit right, but whatever tonight starts a new chapter of getting good sleep in my life I'm gonna do my skincare super fast go downstairs and make a tea so I can fall asleep Those always help me fall asleep really fast. I have so much energy right now Like I'm just not at all ready for bed So I need to dim the lights put on my comfy clothes and really get myself to want to fall asleep I have decided the clips are not functional for skin care. They're a lot better for makeup, but this is it for getting hair out of my face. Someone commented on one of my videos saying they need to get reusable cotton pads. So I got them because I feel so wasteful using so many of these. So I have them. I used them last night and I like them. This lighting is also not very cute. Problem solved. Um, what was I saying? These things. So I like these and I'm going to use them, but I have all the other ones to use up first. So I'm using the regular ones for now. I always use this to take off my makeup. This is almost out, but the labels on this one, it's the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I'm a big fan. Oh, amazing. That's what I get for not looking at what I'm doing. This video is off to a little bit of a hectic start already. I had to replace the SD card or I had to um, delete a bunch of stuff off of it because the memory card was full. Aside from that, today has just not been my day. So if you're not having a great day, it's not just you. You gotta have some bad days to be able to enjoy the good ones. Ew, my eye. <laughs> This is the current deodorant I'm using. I've tried so many natural deodorants and I'm loving this one. It's from Target. It smells really good. I'll also link everything I'm using down below in case you're interested. I need to get this show on the road. Wash my hands. Cute. The beauty in having a day that maybe wasn't your best is that tomorrow you get to do it again. I mean, every day is different, but I'm excited for the gift of a new day tomorrow morning and to get rid of the bad parts of this one. And there were plenty of good parts of today. I can't just throw away the whole thing because of one or two bad moments. All these clothes are being put on the floor to hang up tomorrow anyway night one basically a fail this is so good it's from trader joe's it's the well-rested tea it's my favorite of all time anyway like i said kind of a fail but gotta start somewhere and going to bed at 10 15 10 30 it'll probably actually be is a whole lot better than 1 a.m tomorrow's gonna be iffy too because i have another basketball game we have senior night so people are probably gonna go out for food after so i have no idea when i'll be home but they have the senior ceremony after the game so it'll be a later night probably anyway i'm gonna finish this watch like five minutes of my show i also know that you shouldn't look at your phone right before you go to sleep so i'm trying not to i have a book too that i'm gonna read tomorrow night depending on what time i go to bed so i am working on it this goes down here and i'll see you tomorrow night oh my gosh good night night two it's Tuesday and it is 10:20 and I'm downstairs to make my tea. So night two is also a fail. Unfortunately, I sabotaged myself. This one will do. It's my mom and her friends in 2014. I'm deciding between whether or not I want to have this one or this one. And I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's just so good. Anyway, as I was saying. Shut up, this is literally my rice from earlier. You're kidding me. How did I forget about this?
Okay, I need to catch you up to speed. Basically, I sabotaged myself because I went to go get a Pazuki after the game tonight, but it's Pazuki Tuesday, so like, how could I not? But if I hadn't gone and done that, I'd probably be in bed right now. I also took a shower and shaved my legs, which added a whole lot of time. But you know what? It's okay because like I said last night, going to bed at 10 30 is way better than going to bed at one in the morning so baby steps i also think this will really prepare me for tomorrow night because i'll be used to going to bed earlier hopefully it won't be such a slap in the face to go to bed so early because i really want to shoot for like 9 30 9 45 tomorrow there she is and i can't believe i forgot about that rice from earlier oh well anyway a couple things i've noticed since yesterday obviously i feel a little more energized today it's like very much the same but i can feel maybe a touch of a little bit more energy i already did all my skincare by the way i took off all my makeup so i'm ready to go because i washed my face in the shower things i've noticed since yesterday the first one is obviously that i do feel a little more energized and the second one is my skin it is unfortunately that special time for me and usually every single day when i'm on my period i wake up to a new pimple on my face but today i don't have any new pimples i just have the existing ones up here those two my eyes look so red because i was like scrubbing off my mascara feeling more energized and nothing new going on with my skin so cheers to that i am going to sleep tonight so so grateful to not be waking up at 5 a.m tomorrow since tonight was our last it was senior night so it was our last home basketball game we are going to playoffs but we don't know like whether or not we'll be home or away or anything like that so for now i don't have any cheer practices and usually every wednesday morning i have to go to practice before my classes but not tomorrow thank god i feel like i should be more sad about it and it's not that i'm not sad i just know that our season's not over and i'm starting at the point where i'm ready to be done school wise i'm not ready to be done like seeing my friends and being at home and everything but little things like waking up at five in the morning to go to practice is becoming very repetitive to me i think it would like any of my years at this point in the year but i'm going to sleep i'm going to try to read this but honestly i'll probably fall asleep right away that's what usually happens when i read before i go to sleep oh. I can't speak before I go to bed. Anyway, another long, busy day in the books, but it's gonna be such a fun week. I'm making a poster tomorrow and I'm gonna ask Matt, ask Matt to formal on Thursday. So I'm calling it a night. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, I cannot get this to stay where I want it. Stay put. Okay, it is currently 12.09 p.m. And I was gonna vlog today. I think I mentioned that last night. I was planning on vlogging today, but that just did not happen because I love, if I'm doing a day in the life video, I would love to start it off in the morning to you guys through my whole day. And I was like, this just not gonna be worth it because I woke up this morning at 7.22. And usually I wake up on school days at like 6.45, 6.30, whenever, because I like to snooze my alarm and then get up and get ready and do whatever I'm gonna do. Anyway, I usually have to leave at 7.22. So I was rushing. I'm literally wearing, I should have gotten dress coded for it but i didn't get dress coded i'm wearing what i wore to bed which is kind of gross but it's okay it is what it is my sheets are clean and i just threw on my school skirt and i did my mascara in the car and i was still late to class but oh well it was what it was i'll see you guys for the rest of the day i have to go into michael's right now that's why i'm here to get a poster board because i'm making the poster to ask not to under formal tomorrow i went to target in search of one yesterday because i had to go anyway for nail glue because my nail was breaking and just other little random things and they were all out of target so now i'm going to michael's and then i need to get gas and then i need to go sign something it's like a legal document because i'm 18 but that should be really quick i just have to have my dad go with me and Allie. Allie is my twin sister if you're new to my channel by the way i feel like we have a lot of new viewers and it's really funny when i get comments of people being like oh my gosh there's a second one of her it's just my twin sister Allie. she already knows where she's going to college she's going to baylor in texas and i'm so excited for her and i'm gonna miss her so much but that's a whole discussion for another time and on the topic of leaving and going places there's another senior night tonight i should not be chomping my gum that's gross and it's for soccer and i have so many friends that i love that play soccer and they're seniors so I'm gonna go and watch their game tonight and then get home and hopefully just knock out everything I need to do beforehand I need to do some stuff for brands edit the school news clean my room because it's so gross another thing I like to do at night is clean my room before I go to bed and I haven't really been able to do that or at least I didn't wasn't able to do it last night so it's extra messy right now I have a call tomorrow that I need to prep for and then a little bit of homework not that much though and I think that's all and I need to soak this infected finger because I've not been taking care of it and I'm afraid it's gonna get worse it's just yucky you don't want to see it but um it got infected at the nail salon because they made a cut too deep i think that is what's going on i have my little to-do list that i'm looking at right now and i want to make this poster at some point too if i don't get to doing it today i think i'll have time to do it tomorrow but i'm hoping that michael's will come through for me with this poster board i took a shower last night and my hair got all wet and i didn't wash it and it looks so oily so i might 
braid it for tonight. I don't know. We shall see. I know we already have some of these, but they're all dying, so I'm getting a new pack of them. Hello, update. I just got to the soccer game. It is 4.35, so I'm like five minutes late. I need to go, but I did not get very much done, unfortunately, and I'm still wearing my disgusting Lululemon thing that I have on that I wore to bed last night, but it's fine. I did not get a lot done because it took forever um, with that whole notary thing at the UPS store, and then it took me forever to edit the school news because I have to send it in by tomorrow, and I was just trying to get it out of the way. Clean my room a little bit, but I still have all my laundry to do, so I'll just do that when I get back home. I should have filmed more, but I was just like, go, go, go the whole time, and I worked on that poster. I'm going to have my mom help me with the rest tonight as well because she's really good at drawing, so she can copy the USC logo for me. I don't even think I explained what I was doing. I'm asking him, or maybe I did. I feel like my brain is going in a million directions right now and I also forgot I'm just rambling on I'm so sorry I also got to take my ADHD meds this morning so no wonder it's been such a wild day let's go great news you guys it is currently 708 and I'm on my way home it's so cold outside I'm so happy that I'm hopefully going to be in bed super early tonight yay you know I'd find the window of opportunity to paint a rainbow of silk Call it serendipity You can drop my motorcycle and all will be forgiven I am looking really cute. I just oiled my hair because I'm gonna wash it tomorrow morning. I oiled my scalp, I should say, actually. And I'm about to do my skincare and go to bed. And guys, I'm actually gonna be on time. I have so much energy. Which is like kind of backfiring that I need to go to bed this early because I've been going to bed. My lens is all dirty. I want to go to bed on time for the sake of this video and for the sake of my mental stability, but I feel like I'm spinning. Like I have things to do and I want to get them done because I have the energy to get them done and I usually don't have the energy to- I don't have the motivation to get things done at this hour. I just do it anyway. Holding this piece, I want to show it to you guys. This is not sponsored, but the brand Elemis sent me this package of skincare goodies. They smell really good. I'm gonna do all my skincare, brush my teeth, get myself ready for bed. I have everything set out for tomorrow. The lens still looks foggy. I'm feeling fabulous. I'm feeling energized. And I do have one new pimple on my forehead. So who knows if the whole pimple thing is from lack of sleep or what the deal is. But day three and I'm loving it. Even though I haven't even been actually in bed in the nine o'clock hour yet. I'm already reaping the benefits of this. Oh my God. Also, I finished the poster for Matt to ask him tomorrow and I got this marker all over my hand But it's coming off really easy and I did my laundry finally so I can see the floor over here and the candles burning These flowers are dying unfortunately, but everything's all ready to go for tomorrow down to the tripod So I can film for a tiktok when I wake up. I've made it. It's 9 59 by the skin of my teeth I'm in bed and it's 10 <laughs> right on time like one minute late actually, but it's the best I've done thus far I have this lavender essential oil i'm gonna put it on my pillow so it can help me go to sleep faster and i have like two and a half youtube videos in my watch later that i'm gonna watch they're just short ones it smells so good so that's gonna be my little bedtime activity of choice tonight and a little bedtime activity is something that is very uncommon for me so reading a book or getting to watch a show is not something i usually do because i'm going to bed so late and i do feel really behind on work this week like i don't think this will ever be a permanent thing for me if anything it will just um reset my sleep schedule a little bit so i go to bed more so at 11 or even 10 30 so anyway i do have to sacrifice some things this week to make this happen like for example i'm not uploading a second youtube video because I love to edit at night. Usually that's the time when I get the most done and if I totally had it my way, I would stay up super late and wake up super late, but obviously I have school and so I just need to reset my mind to be able to, I don't know exactly what I'm going for. I need to work with my mind instead of working against it, so I'm working on finding a balance. I'm also going to play brown noise because I watched a TikTok about sleep and I've just seen that everywhere and I want to try it out, so... That's what it sounds like, and it- people say it makes their mind go completely quiet. Thanks for listening to my rant. See you tomorrow. Hello guys, it's day four of this video. I'm back in my car, and it is almost time. I have my poster, and Matt's mom is bringing his dog, and Sarah's coming. I just really want him to be surprised, because I told him I was going to be at the gym. So I don't think he knows, but I'm ready to go. I am never early for anything. I say that so strongly. I am so chronically late and it's not something that I'm proud of. I just have really bad time management. But I was 15 minutes early to this. I got here at 5 and it's 5.06. Ah! You guys. I literally suck at this video. Guess what time it is? 
10.32. I got home, put on some comfy clothes, sat right here to go on my phone, respond to DMs, do some TikTok scrolling. It was like 9.15 when I got home, maybe a little before then. I actually fell asleep right here. My bangs, I think. That's what I was getting though. at I think my in bangs. I don't this think clip, you guys. Bangs, you know, and it's flesh colored. Here's my point. I fell asleep right here for like 30 minutes and then I got up and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally have failed again. I'm going to get rid of all this footage and like just scratch this video because I can't do this. And I was like, wait a minute. That's just not what people want to see. This is totally sideways. So new title of this video is attempting to go to bed at 9 p.m. Because I really put forth my best effort and it just is not working out for me. I really should have done this in a more gradual manner. I also need to tell you guys about the promposal. Well, not promposal, the winter formal thing. Here's the video. It was so great and so fun. And I went to Matt's house after and we had in and out for dinner and watched Thor. We're watching all the Marvel movies right now in order, like in chronological order. So that was next on our list. Anyway, as I was saying, nobody wants to see the perfect unattainable routine, so I'm not scratching this video. We press on. I need to get this makeup off of my face. All right, my skincare is all done. I was wearing these glasses uh, the other day and my little neighbor, she's almost eight years old, asked me why I looked like a teacher. I was expecting a package, so I came downstairs to get it, but it's not here, so it's probably in the mailbox. But the mailbox is really far away, so I'm not gonna go get it. Anyway, I was expecting my new pajama set that I ordered. I'll unbox it for you tomorrow. But it's time for tea. I'm also having some berries and cream. Very little lad of me, but we literally had two strawberries, so. This is the best we could do. They are big, fat strawberries, so. Got a lot out of them. It's my little dessert and beverage for the night. Cheers. It is day five of this video. It's Friday, and we got out of class. We have to go back to school, though, and do all this wall setup stuff for SLTM with Grace. She's Hi. back. She went to Harry Styles again. We're about to go get tacos, and then we have time to kill, and we're both like, okay, none of us are going to actually realistically get anything done right now in this time period, so we're going to go to TJ Maxx and see if we can find anything good. I'll take you with me. Left my camera at home. Classic move by me. And what else? We're gonna go get lunch now. Yeah, I'm starving. And I haven't eaten anything all day because I woke up late. We had late start today also. So I got to school at, I was 10 minutes late. I got to school at 8.50. Usually we start at 8.40 on these days. But I got that extra hour of sleep. So cheers to that. We're gonna get tacos. Ciao. And guacamole. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Got pico, chips, guac, and our bowls are on the way. It. First aid There's beauty. a lot of good stuff going on here. Oh my god, I really want one of these. I know. This is only nine dollars and it's humongous. I have the smaller one. It was like so expensive. This would totally match my room. I feel. I don't need it, but I really want it. This stuff too. If I'm correct, these whitening strips are normally forty dollars. They're thirty, and this is normally forty dollars. It's only twenty. I'm gonna spend so much money. It's bad. 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 I can't believe how often I forget this place exists. I use these razors, and I guarantee this is way less than what it is at Target. Lots more um, scalp massagers. So many hair products. Here's okay. this is good. Oh, I'm just shocked. We are back on the camera. It's three o'clock. We went to TJ Maxx. I'll show you guys everything I got later when I get home. But we kind of lost track of time. We had to rush and get to school and. And we don't have any tape at school and basically what we're doing since we have winter formal next week is wall set up so it takes quite a few hours and we all hang decorations on all the school hallways so all the grades are there from our asb and we need a lot of painters tape to do that and the painters tape order never came so i'm running a little errand i'm at home depot and i'm gonna go get a load of painters tape and i'm not even kidding i need six of these p.m. I'm here with Cami, and tonight she asked Wyatt to formal oh, so yeah. that'll be really funsies yeah it was really good but mm -hmm. we've been in this parking lot for like two hours now probably two hours just I got here at like six something but I've been here I want to say we got here at like 3 30 and it's nine that's nuts. Or, or sorry, like 4.30. It's so cold outside though, but we've been having such yeah. a good conversation. Yeah. Or such good conversations that yeah. we have just it's, stayed it's out there. It's fun. And it's also yeah. like Friday and like, you know. Done on school tomorrow, so. Yeah. And we don't have They're that many really stupid trips. out there. <laughs> Hey vlog. Anyway, all that to say, I'm definitely not going to bed at 9 p.m. tonight. 
I'm doing this video where I try to go to bed at 9 p.m. and every single night I have failed and it's horrible. Okay, what, Trey? Was he making fun of me? All right, guys, <laughs> vlog, like here we go. I gotta put my phone away. All right, this is the this is the Trey cam. This is Matthew. I don't know if you guys know him. It's not like he's like the biggest part of Miss Katie's life. Oh, shit. It's cold out. On the next, uh, Justin Fields, if you didn't already know, they're having their girly conversation in there. I hit the Lambo. I hit the Lambo? All right, we're playing over here. Chat, this is crazy. We have this Lambo. A lot gone wrong. Well, this thing rotates. Oh! oh. Okay. Bye -bye. Anyway, Kimmy says bye. So I don't know what they recorded, but I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home too. I need to sleep. Get work done because I have so much to do before tomorrow. And I'm starting up another vlog tomorrow morning. I will give you guys my TJ Maxx haul. She's a working girl. When I'm home. I am a working no, girl. No sleep. No sleep. Bus club, another club. This is not <laughs> focusing at all well. Trey probably did something to it. Yeah. Trey turned off the autofocus. Oh. But we're back to normal now. We're good. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Bye vlog. Hello, I'm home. It is almost out of this video, but I need to give you guys this TJ Maxx haul and wrap it all up. I got frozen yogurt on the way home for my dad and me. Me, me and my dad. I'm so tired right now. This is the first time all week that I've been really feeling super tired, but I feel like it's more sleepy than tired. I don't know. Today has just felt like a really long day, but you guys would be proud. My room is pretty clean. I just moved this chair in front of the bathroom. It's the only place with decent lighting. Anyway, I have my comfies on. Speaking of which, I'm going to open these pajamas. I ordered these and they were kind of expensive. I'll link them down below in case you guys are interested, but basically, I don't know what it is about my room. I get so cold, or at least my room gets so cold at night when I sleep, so I'm in long sleeves, pants. I have to wear socks because my feet are cold. I feel like my whole body gets cold, so I ordered these pajamas. I got this blue color, which is very unlike me. I'm clearly a big fan of neutral colors and warmer colors I guess but I like these ones a lot I just really wanted pajamas that I could wear to bed that were matching these are the bottoms so I will report back on the pajamas but they're from Goosebumps shop so continuing on I also really wanted to talk about this book that I've been reading I talked about it I think on night two or three of this video it's this one I love it so much and I feel like I have so much that I want to talk about that I've read in this book about God and creation and the list goes on and on, but I'm going to save it for my video tomorrow because I want to dedicate more time to talk about it. I'm really loving it, and I say that even though I've only read maybe a chapter because I cannot. I've got to get into a better habit of reading during the day instead of trying to read at night because I'll get through two pages and fall asleep. But stay tuned for that video because I do want to talk about more, but I'm going to show you what I got from TJ's. There was so much good stuff. I really wanted to buy out the entirety of the store, but I did not do that. I tried to hold back a little bit, but I'll show you what I did get. First are these gold hoops for winter formal. I showed them when I was filming little clips on my phone, but they're only 12 bucks or 13 bucks, but I thought they matched perfectly and I had already been looking for jewelry. So this wasn't totally an impulse purchase like the rest of this stuff. Electric toothbrush. This is from Quip. I've seen it at Target, but I really don't know much about it. Other than that, I hope that it works well. I have apparently cavities forming in my teeth, so I need to be better about flossing and brushing my teeth. And I have these cheap $1, maybe even 99 cent ones from Target. They come in like a pack of two or four and they've been great, but I just don't think they're doing enough. So I don't want to have to get those cavities filled. I don't want them to get worse. They put this alarming sticker. Dun, dun, dun. This is so fancy. It's in like a test tube. I'll rapid fire the rest of this because you're probably like, oh my gosh, she's been talking about this forever. Another dental thing, these teeth whitening strips. I've seen these all over Instagram and I've really been wanting to try them. So an impulse purchase for sure. This is not something I needed, but I have graduation coming up, senior pictures, winter formal is this week. So I'm definitely gonna use these. Next, I got the diffuser. It was mostly solely because of the color. And I have that lavender essential oil that I was showing you last night. I have an outlet on this um, shoe holder white stand. And so when my California candle runs out, I want to put this on there and diffuse um, lavender before I go to bed. It's going to be such a nice experience. It'd really make my room feel like an oasis. And this has a little light. So I just need to show you the color. It's because it matches those pillows back there. And this orange candle thing up here was like a 
dollar or two from Urban Outfitters on sale. This color in here, and if I put this over here, it'll really just tie it all together. And then I don't have to keep buying candles, although I do love them. I don't think I'll stop, but I'll have this hopefully too. I've made a complete mess, but the last thing I got is this Living Proof Heat Protectant Styling Spray situation. And I also want to use this for winter formals. So that is everything. I'm going to clean this up and get myself in bed. I'm ready. Even though I was not in bed before, 9 p.m. any of the nights this week it was still much earlier than usual so i'd say it was somewhat of a success because little baby steps i can't just expect to night and day change my whole routine but you gotta start somewhere so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow morning i'm going to the gym babysitting tomorrow night i have a lot of editing to do so i will be taking you guys along with me I don't know when that'll be up because this next week is going to be hectic with all the formal stuff and planning and preparation. But I'm vlogging all that too. So it's going to be non-stop for like a week and a couple days. But I can't wait. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. I need to go to sleep. It's like 11 something right now. 11.28. And I got the first of the day. It says, fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Proverbs 29, 25. Okay, love you guys. I will see you for my next video, hopefully soon. I need to get back on my editing game. I feel like I have so much content filmed, but I just need to sit down at my computer and edit all of it. It's coming soon, I promise. <gasps> Hopefully tomorrow I can get it all done. I'm staring at this little mess. I need to clean that up, do my skincare. Thank you for watching and for coming along on this journey with me. I've loved having you as always. I cannot believe it. Like I, I have a, uh, I don't know what language I'm speaking right now, but I hit 110,000 subscribers yesterday. I really don't know what I did to deserve it. I'm so grateful and I will never be able to wrap my head around the fact that so many people love and support my content. It's crazy and it's all God. And I'm so glad that I have this platform and I can share my joy and God's love with all of you. So thank you guys a million times from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I've never <laughs> I've never seen someone say bye vlog and then it continues to go. Usually the video just ends there. Like I've never seen the other side of it. I said bye vlog and I like went to turn off the camera and she's like, oh my gosh. I've never I've seen never like seen the usually the video just ends. Life. What? It's so weird. Well, so here it is. Yours. This is it. Good night, guys. Good night.